Hello everyone, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will learn a technique in elementary number theory that is useful for mathematical Olympiads like IOQM, American Math Competition. This particular problem is from ISI BSTAT BMath entrance. We will learn a lot using this one problem. I will also give you a challenge problem at the end of this video. Give that a try and if you can, put it in the comment section. So, this problem says that x and y are integers and x times y times x plus y plus 1 is equal to 5 to the power 2018 plus 1. We want to find out how many solutions are there of this equation. How many solutions are there of this equation? We are going to use something called modular arithmetic. Modular arithmetic. It's a very powerful tool. If you do not know modular arithmetic, check the links in the description. You will find many interesting videos and explanations of modular arithmetic. In short, it is a way to combine remainders and do calculations with remainders. And uh, if you can do it, then a lot of complicated number theory problems become much easier. So, let's look at this. The right hand side, we will do a modular check of 4. Okay. So, mod 4 check. Why are we doing this mod 4 check? There are a variety of reasons. It comes with experience really. But, if you look 5... 5 is obviously congruent to 1 mod 4. So 5 to the power to thou whatever is 1 to the power that thing mod 4 and that's just 1 mod 4. So it is natural to try and experiment with modulo 4 because the right hand side becomes much more simplified. Really the options are modulo 3, modulo 4, modulo 5. These are the obvious choices. Because if you do that, then the right hand side becomes much more simpler. So we will do it mod with modulo 4. Okay. So let's write this down carefully. xy times x plus y plus 1 is equals to 5 to the power 2018 plus 1. The modulo 4, the right hand side is congruent to 2 mod 4. Because 5 is congruent to 1 mod 4. And you can raise both sides to the power 2018, as I did just a moment ago. So that's just 1. And then you can add 1 to both sides. So you get 2 mod 4. That's why I say the right hand side is 2 mod 4. You want the left hand side to be also 2 mod 4. Okay. The question is, is it possible? Can x, okay, x, y, x plus y plus 1 be congruent to 2 mod 4 for some values of x and y. Let's check. This is a hard check. You have to check by numbers. So, x can be congruent to 0, 1, 2, 3. y can be congruent to 0, 1, 2, 3. We really have to check 16 values, 16 pairs. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, like this, 16 pairs. First of all, notice that x cannot be 0 mod 4. So, x, can, so this is not possible. Why? Because x is, x cannot, if x is 0 mod 4, then the, the left hand side entirely becomes 0 mod 4. 0 times anything is 0. But the right hand side is 2 mod 4, right? So, the left hand side is 0 mod 4 or divisible by 4. The right hand side is non divisible by 4. So, that's not possible. So, we cannot have, we cannot have 0 mod 4. So, 0 and this also cannot be 0. Y cannot be 0. Now, we can check with 1. So, basically, we can check 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. These are the three pairs we can check. This is x, this is y, this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. So let's check with 1. 1 times 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is congruent to 3 mod 4. Doesn't work because it has to be equal to 2 mod 4, right? 
That's what we want. Then let's try 1 comma 2. 1 times 2, 1 plus 2 plus 1. This is congruent to 0 mod 4. Why? Because this is 4, right? 4 is 0. So 4 is 0 mod 4. So the left hand side is 0 mod 4. So again, doesn't work because we need it to be 2 mod 4. So this one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. 1 comma 3, 1 times 3, 1 plus 3 plus 1. This is congruent to 15, which is congruent to 3 mod 4. Again, doesn't work. Has to be 2 mod 4. That's what we want. So none of these three pairs, none of these three pairs work. So now you can check with 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 1 if you want. You, you really don't have to check 2 comma 1 because you have already checked 1 comma 2 and 2 and 1 are interchangeable. The left hand side, X and Y are interchangeable. So you have to just check 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 3, three more things. Can you check all of these variants and tell me which one works? Or maybe none of them work, then there is no solution. So check and tell me if there are any solutions to this particular equation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned how to use modular arithmetic to find out integer solutions to equations. These are called Diophantine equations. Diophantine equations are equations with integer solutions. And uh, we cleverly used number theory, cleverly used modular arithmetic to actually solve an equation. You just have to check three more cases and tell me in the comment section if there are any solution or not. I just told you the strategy. I hope you are liking these sort of videos and you are learning something from it. If you are, please stop subscribe to our channel. And if you are interested in outstanding programs in mathematical Olympiads, research, leadership programs that lead up to Ivy League education, then check the link in the description for a mentoring program. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.